So we will now go ahead with the next four problems that is problem numbers 17 to 20 of exercise 0.1. Find the integrals of the following functions. 17th problem. <coughs> Let i be equal to integral 2x square minus 3 sin x plus 5 root x into dx. Write the problem as it is. Now separate each term and when you separate take the constants outside the integral sign. 2 is a constant, take it outside the integral sign. Then this becomes 2 times integral x square dx minus 3 times of integral sin x dx plus 5 times of integral root x dx. So I have separated each term. Okay. Now do the integration. And before doing the integration, we will write this last term like this. 3 times of uh, integral sin x dx, this term written as it is, plus 5 times of integral x to the power of half dx. Because root of x is x to the power of half, so that we can use power rule now. So i equals 2 times of x square dx, x to the power of 2 plus 1, 3, divided by 2 plus 1, 3, minus 3 into integration of sin x is minus cos x plus 5 into integration of x to the power of half becomes half plus 1 that is 3 by 2 half plus 1 is 1 and half 1 and half is nothing but 3 by 2 <coughs> plus c and here this minus into minus becomes plus in the next step you can write that <coughs> sorry ok so that's about problem number 17th 17th problem and now I will take up the 18th one Problem number 18. Let i be equal to integral secant x into secant x plus tan x dx. Now since secant x is outside the bracket, you multiply the secant x plus tan x from secant x. So i equals integral secant square x plus secant x tan x dx. Now separate the integrals. R equals integral secant square x dx plus integral secant x tan x dx. These are the standard integrals because you know the answer of these standard integrals. Integral secant square x dx is what? is tan x. Why? Because if you differentiate tan x, you get secant square x. Plus integral secant x tan x is what? Is secant x. Why? Because if you differentiate secant x, you get secant x tan x. Plus the constant of integration. So this is the solution for problem number 18. Okay, now Problem number 19. 19th problem is given like this. Let i be equal to integral. This is the problem. Integral secant square x over <coughs> cosecant square x dx. Or i equals integral. See secant function. You know that secant x is the reciprocal function of cos x. So I write secant square x as 1 by cos square x because 1 by cos square x is secant square x into and you also know that you also know that cosecant x is 1 over sin x or 1 over cosecant x is what is sin x so here you have 1 over cosecant square x you have 1 over cosecant square x that I will write it as sin square x dx and now i becomes integral tan square x dx why because sin square x by cos square x is tan square x okay and now 
this is secant square x minus 1 into dx because tan square x is secant square x minus 1. This is one of the fundamental trigonometric identities. And now you separate the integrals. This is integral secant square x dx minus integral 1 dx. So answer is integral secant square x dx is tan x minus integral 1 dx is x plus c. Why do you get x here? Integration of a dx because you know there is 1 here and differential coefficient of 1 is x. So integration of x will be dx. So that's the solution for the problem number 19. And now we have the last problem. i equals integral 2 minus 3 sin x over cos square x dx. This is a very easy problem. Just have to separate that's all and use this kind of formula. So i equals integral 2 by cos square x dx, 2 by cos square x minus 3 sin x by cos square x dx. So i equals 2 times of integral 1 by cos square x dx minus 3 times of integral sin x by cos square x dx. So i equals, oh, I have taken 3 outside the integral sign, 3 being a constant. So 2 into integral 1 by cos is secant. So 1 by cos square is secant square x dx minus 3 times of integral. Uh, here you have sin x divided by cos x into cos x. You know, uh, the sin x by cos x becomes tan x into 1 by cos x becomes secant x. So this can be written as secant x into tan x dx. Now these two are standard functions. You know the integrals of them. This is 2 into tan x. Integral secant square x dx is tan x minus 3 into integral secant x tan x dx is secant x plus c because the differential coefficient of tan x is secant square x. The differential coefficient of secant x is secant x tan x. Therefore, integral secant square x dx is tan x and integral secant x tan x dx is secant x. These answers are obtained as a direct consequence of differentiation.